Hey guys, what's going on? It's Team Fox, and today I'm going to teach you guys how to actually host your own lobby in a very quick and easy video. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is actually be in your lobby pretty much the entire period of time you're going to be online. Because I have seen some hosts actually be or actually create lobbies and just go AFK for hours. And you can't do that because it's pretty much your responsibility to, you know, care for the players that are in your lobby. Because if you don't, then everyone's gonna fucking hate you and yeah so pretty much you just have to play the entire time you're in there so you yourself can see what's going on in, in the matches itself because sometimes you know some fucking trolls just fucking do whatever they want and they pretty much ruin everyone else's fun so it's your job to kick them if you do see that okay so the next thing you need to look out for is the actual connection between the players if someone has red ping or even worse, just like fucking one bar, which is like the lowest you can possibly go. Just kick them because honestly, they're just going to lag the matches between everyone else and nobody's going to have fun. So just get rid of them. I mean, I know to some of you it might seem as, you know, a dick move to do that. But honestly, since you're the host, you have to put, you know, the overall experience for everyone as a whole over the uh, experience for like one person that's, you know actually causing the problems so you have to like you know make sure you you know eliminate the problems by just kicking the guy that has like terrible connection out because no one's going to do anything right if the match is lagging all right now that i talk about how to actually you know look at the connection bars and just you know pretty much be there in your lobby i'm going to talk about what you should actually kick people for okay so if you see someone that's like legitly trolling like you know someone such as that senya douchebag then yeah kick him out um another good example of this is to kick a player who has a red like red actual red highlighted name out because they are players who legitly just rage quit everything and their name color is there for a reason so just get rid of them. You should also do it if you see a player that, you know, just sends you like shitty messages that pretty much just trash talks you. And if they're like really just, you know, becoming a problem or a nuisance, just get rid of them. I mean, it's their choice to be in your lobby and if they can't, you know, follow your rules, then just kick them. Like honestly, do not deal with like really stupid problems, just get rid of them. You should also open up some sort of like chat room or something so that players can report problems in that room. And I think it's kind of cool how you can just pretty much unite the entire like lobby as a whole and everyone can just you know have a better experience overall by just like talking to each other and being like um or commending each other for like something cool they saw some player do so yeah it's pretty cool to have a chat room open and it's easy for you to see what problems are happening in the lobby itself because players can report you know some stupid bullshit that happens in the lobby and you'll know right away so it's pretty cool how that happens so yeah pretty much just open a chat room if you know the players and have them join and they'll pretty much report anything stupid to you so you can easily get rid of them and next up is to actually pretty much make your lobby fun I mean you have like a like a subtitle thing in the upper right corner of the lobby itself I mean say some funny stuff I mean you're a host you have powers to do some cool stuff so like why not make it kind of fun by doing some cool shit you know I mean I guess you could try like by having you know some sort of like rule that's like uh let's see all agai or like all 1ks or something like that i mean it's pretty cool and sometimes the host does some like you know stupid rules but i mean if you're gonna make a rule try to make it you know sort of good to where every player in the room can actually have fun by doing it don't make it like completely fucking stupid and boring so yeah try to do that and you'll be golden okay so let's move on to one of the most important things that you have to like worry about when you are a host the map itself I know a lot of people like to have the maps random, but I personally like to have the map set to the uh, the G Gundam map with the fucking, I don't know what you call it, it's that, it's that huge octopus thingy from G Gundam itself, I don't know what it's called, I think it's called like Def Gundam, I don't know, but yeah that map is like really good in my opinion because it's like nice and flat and pretty much there's nothing to blame because the map itself is just like flat, just pretty much flat and that's like awesome. Like, it has no buildings or, like, just, like, you know, some stupid terrain game in the way of the fight. It's just pretty much flat, which I really like. So, yeah, I mean, take that as what you guys want. I mean, you're free to do whatever you want, but what I would not recommend saying the map to is Rebirth. I mean, Rebirth is cool looking and all, but 
it sucks ass for ranged mobile suits because ranged mobile suits have you know little space to actually move in that map and full boost as a whole is pretty much geared towards ranged mobile suits and that pretty much fucks over pretty much most of the mobile suits in the game if you choose rebirth and no one is going to have any fun if you pick rebirth as a map every time but if everyone in your lobby is indeed like a melee mobile suit then sure pick rebirth it's actually going to be pretty fun because everyone's melee no one's range and no one's going to be like you know at a disadvantage but what I really would not suggest you do is pick a extreme map because those are fucking terrible. I know a lot of people who just like legitimately hate those maps, so just don't do it. I mean, really, people really hate those. And lastly, if you're not sure what map to pick, just do random because nobody's going to blame you if it's something they just hate. I mean, it's just basic statistics. It's, you know, randomization where it's not in your hands to just, you know, pick whatever you want when it's random. So just pick random if you're not sure. Also, when you make a lobby, do not put like a connection barrier on your lobby because it's like when, um, you know, it kicks people automatically if their connection is shit. Because some people do have the, you know, opportunity to improve their connection if you give them, you know, maybe five seconds or something. So don't do that. I mean, you're there. You can see if it's like, you know, shit connection over like one minute or something and you can just kick them manually. I mean, it's kind of unfair in a way if to just, like, you know, kick someone like that. So just take it off. It's really a nuisance. And lastly, I'm going to talk about the actual you know process of banning people from your lobby. Um, I know one person specifically that does ban people, and it's kind of like fucked up. And he banned me, and I've actually you know never played with him before. And yeah, it kind of does suck ass to be banned, and it feels like feels like you're a bitch when you get banned. So yeah. But anyways, only ban people if they deserve the ban. I mean, if there's someone that, like, you know, is actually really good, do not ban them. That's just, that's, that is just fucked up. Don't ban someone for their skill. Ban someone for being, like, disgusting or just a nasty player overall. Or if they're sending you stupid ass messages or if they're trolling, that's when you ban people. Don't ban people if they're good. Don't ban people if they're, like, shit. Don't ban them for, like, pretty much, like, you know, neutral stuff. Don't do that. It's just really stupid, and I know a lot of hosts who just ban people for no apparent reason. So, yeah, just don't do that. And here is the last tip I have for you guys. For the love of God, do not abuse your powers as a host to give yourself an advantage in the fucking fights. I mean, I have seen some hosts do this, and honestly, please just refrain yourself from doing this. It's wrong. But anyways, that's pretty much all I have to say, guys. So, yeah, um, I have an essay due in two hours, and I'm making this video because I was bored, and yeah, whatever. Probably shouldn't have done that, but yeah, as usual, uh, leave a like if you enjoyed the video, it means a lot to me, and I will see you guys later.